gosh, there she is. She looks so beautiful. It's embarkation day. It's embarkation day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. And I'm with Mama. Oh my gosh. So, hey guys. Hey guys, it's Heather here. We are about to get on Utopia of for a four day cruise. So excited. Gosh, I can't believe we're getting on this fast. It's not even 11 a.m. So I think that, that was the smoothest really... check-in we've ever had. That was really smooth. And I mean, I've never had anything chaotic, Maybe getting here early but Maybe I mean, I've gone here early before and we're yeah. already getting, it's like not even, what time is it? It's like not even 11. It is 10.59 and we're getting on the ship. I'm like so excited. So here we are, it's so beautiful. Getting on the ship. There's a carnival ship over there. Oh my god. Where are you at? What's wrong? What's our station? Um, oh, I forget. Oh, crap. We can do that now? Yeah, we can oh. do that. <laughs> um, let me look. I'm actually going to go ahead and go to our muster drill. We got to double check the whole show thing. They directed us to down here to check on the whole thing with the shows. And then our muster is actually in Studio B. So. We watched the video, though. Didn't no, we? we watch it here. Oh, I think. Watch it here? I don't know. We'll find out. No, but you watch. I thought you watched it here. I don't know. This is live in action. But we got our drink, our souvenir cups. Show them your souvenir cups. She has pink because she's a girl. Pink. And then she's a girl. I'm girlier. You're girlier. So now we're on our mustard drill and it's super easy. It's, I love the new musters. It's so easy than it was in the past. Yeah. So pretty easy just to the mustard. Literally just do it as soon as you walk in. Pretty simple. And now we're going to the windjammer. The new elevator system where you can actually pick the floor you want and go there. We just gotta figure out where the windjammer, where are you going? <laughs> we gotta figure out where the windjammer is. I don't know where she's going. 15. Oh, 15. Okay, we're back. So 15, click it and then C. C, it says we're going to, to elevator C. Okay, it's not here yet, but that's what they said. So it tells you the elevator you're going to and said to come to C. So let's see how quickly, so quickly it gets there. Wow. And up, oh, okay, that's not ours. I guess it's going down and up. So here we are, the wind jammer, the iconic wind jammer. It's been so long. It's like fancy, it's a like bougie, bougie. We got a bougie wind jammer, but we gotta wash, wash our hands. Now let's find a table. First things first, find ourselves a table. Yeah, so it's always good to do the buffet. The yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. Really? Somebody very, very sick. I'm getting some pasta. I feel like that's like what I always tend to get on like embarkation day. Yeah, they have all different kinds of options. Like over there, burgers, hot dogs, rice, desserts. Just to give you a quick rundown, I'll get a better video of course later on. But show you more desserts. Oh my gosh, it just goes on and on how much food they actually have. The show. Let me get myself some bread. So this is what I got. This ended up being my plate. I feel like a five-year-old. I got pasta, I got rice, I got french fries, because I've been craving french fries all week, like which you would not believe. Bread, sauce, everything. So yeah. So here we are. We just got some lunch. Great as always. And here's the pool area. I love all the vibrant colors. And then over here is the food trucks which are really cool. You can just grab something really quick to eat and go. Pretty simple, pretty great. So then we're in the other section of the pool deck where we have the two slides, or three slides, oh my goodness. Three water slides on this ship. And this is so 
vibrant. I don't think any of the other cruise lines I've been on have had such a vibrant pool deck here with the colors. It's just absolutely stunning. So beautiful. It's now I wandered into the solarium and this is quite the upgrade from past solariums I've been in. Like two pools, a bunch, a bunch of hot tubs. Like this is definitely really nice because I just remember like the pool being having like one pool it being really small and oasis and this is just beautiful and we're just kind of walking our room's not ready I think until like one and we've come across this little I think it's like a Mexican restaurant we get like burritos and Mexican food and whatnot yeah okay, we're just kind of meandering around seeing what's up seeing what's new here's more a poor canal we made it to the aft of the ship I think it's this really cute playground for the kids. I think this is a wonder. Um, I think it's really cute. What do you feel like? Do you think it's cute? Huh? Do you think it's cute? What? The playground? Yeah, yeah, like Dorothy's. That's just so cute. You would have been standing on the top of that thing when you were little. Yeah. On top of that glass thing. Oh my god. But you always did stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the Disney Wish for all my Disney lovers out there. Way out there is the Wish. But. Ultimate. I'm pretty happy to be on roll. So now we made it to deck six and we're on the boardwalk. It's cool now because this new thing where you can, I guess, I don't know what it is, maybe to conserve energy, I don't know. But now you have to press the button to open the door and here is the classic boardwalk. You got your power spell. I love the vibe here. It's definitely one of my favorite spots on the ship. The aqua theater's back here as well. All the way up there is the zip line. I, I don't think I can do it. My mom's literally like the whole trip. Are you going to do it? Or are you going to do it? And I'm like, no. I just, I can't. I don't know why. I just, I can't. It's just too scary. So, but I think I will be doing the abyss at some point during this trip. Um, it's not open yet. But I definitely want to do the abyss. So now we are at Central Park which honestly looks the same as it has in the past so pretty I put down wine lens and we can all see how big it is you got the slots all the way up there which now I think we're going towards the front of the ship I'm trying to get my bearing straight sometimes it all blends in what is so the the to see to we're going to go to our stateroom 9603. I have to think a second. And let me get my seat pass. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got a board, 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 we're in the Central Park. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is an upgrade. This is an upgrade. Okay, oh my gosh. I was expecting an interior, I expected it to be dark and gloomy. But oh no, we got a, a central park. This is where we're at. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was definitely worth the guarantee upgrade. I can't believe with the guarantee we got a central park deal. What the heck? I was like expecting, I'm like, there's light. Oh, I'm so happy. I mean, I would have dealt with an interior and I'm sure down the road, I'm gonna have to deal with interiors if I wanna cruise more. But, this but was a pleasant surprise. On this one. Yeah. So I just got done with my live a while back and now I was kind of dawdling. Oh, oh my. No, I don't know. I gotta get back. And we're missing we're sail away. Away. We were dawdling. Oh my God, I don't wanna miss the sail away. Okay, you, you enter here. Oh my God, how do you get out? So, we're gonna do a sex sail way out. The ship sail away. It's a party. We missed it. We missed it. Oh no. No. No, we missed our Jetty Park by moment. Well, you know what? I'm so stupid. We didn't feel it. Honestly, don't even feel like I'm moving at all. Like, if I were to be like not looking out of the sea, I'd be like, oh yeah, we're not moving. Disney Wish taking off out into sea. There's even little chairs here, so guess what? I'm 
I'm gonna plop myself on a chair here for a couple seconds. Not gonna stew too much because I don't want to get seasick. You know, the only reason I knew we were moving is I was messaging somebody on Facebook and my messages stopped going through. And I was like, I didn't even know. It did not even feel like we were moving. Yeah. This is amazing. So, but there's the Disney Wish right over there. We are gonna go down to the shore excursions, guest because our shore excursion got canceled. So disappointed. Like, you have no idea. I really want to go to Pearl Island. So, we're gonna try to come up with a great solution for our adventure tomorrow so you're just you're just gonna have to see where we end up at so i'm back at the room i'm getting ready now for dinner kind of freshening up a bit nothing too crazy uh we did stop at the shore excursion um concierge desk i don't know if that's what you call it um we've got our shore excursion all straightened out we are actually going to be going to blue lagoon but there will be a twist to this excursion so you're just gonna have to watch to find out what that twist exactly is we got a really great wait for it since our other excursion to get canceled so i am so stoked however now i'm gonna get ready um we're not eating a main dining room because the reason why is i have gotten seasick going down to the belly of the ship and that's where the dining rooms are there are decks like five four and three but for royal i do like the anytime my time sort of dining and the past couple times I've been on cruise ships, when I go down to those lower decks, I have been getting seasick and I want to avoid that at all costs. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat at the uh, at the buffet tonight at the Windjammer. I think we might end up doing that a lot during this cruise. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, just to avoid getting seasick, maybe the first day don't eat in the main dining because usually it's a little rough to see is getting out into the ocean and all of that so big tip from up at the buffet it's actually not that busy they closed off part of the section so only the one side's open so it's not too too bad so i feel like a two-year-old right now because i'm not like starving starving um i'm just not like after today's lunch just made me feel really like full and i don't like the feeling of being full because it makes me feel like i'm gonna like like vomit <laughs> but so i just got some plain pasta i might get some bread with it i'm just gonna take it take it easy yeah so i'm here now with mama the hot tub is so nice so we were just saying like, we don't get why nobody really swims at night like i was just saying that, like why do people not like take advantage of people at night it's like just so calm in here not a lot of people and it's just so Relaxing, so very relaxing. No people. Uh, I don't know. Like, nice I, I think it's very underrated. So this is Studio B, the ice ring, and now we're just waiting for the show to start. I'll see if I can get any recordings. thing since we have one of these views and there's not like loud music late at night that would have been really bad it's quiet and tranquil and yeah it's very nice yeah. 
Well, that includes Embarkation Day on Utopia of the Seas. My brain is just phew, how just beautiful the ship is and all these really great upgrades. And I'm so excited. Cannot, cannot get over the beauty and just like the work. And it is just by far, by far my favorite Oasis ship. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go to bed in a couple minutes. We are going to the Bahamas, Nassau. So excited. We have a really fun day planned that I'm going to take you along to vlog. So be sure to check back at the channel to see that, to see that little vlog. So yeah, well, and that my friends, that is the end of the chapter. Go comment down below. What was your favorite thing about this ship? If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe. If you want to see more cruise content, uh, follow me on my other social medias. I'm active on Instagram. I'm active on TikTok. There will be more travel content in the near future. Thank you for watching. See you on the next chapter. Bye-bye.